Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to look at an A-level chemistry titration question. Details are in the description. I'll show you how to work out the average titer from a table of results. Next, we'll use this titer to work out the molar mass of a carbonate. Finally, we'll look at practical ways to reduce the percentage uncertainty associated with using a burette. Let's get started. Here's the information given at the start of the question. This question is about a white solid MHCO3 that dissolves in water and reacts with hydrochloric acid to give a salt, and we're given a balanced equation. A student was asked to design an experiment to determine a value for the MR of MHCO3. The student dissolved 1,464 milligrams of MHCO3 in water and made the solution up to 250 centimeters cubed. 25.0 cm3 samples of the solution were titrated with 0.102 mole per decimeter cubed hydrochloric acid and were given a table of results. Calculate the mean titer and use this to determine the amount in moles of HCl that reacted with 25.0 cm3 of the MHCO3 solution. Titers that are within 0.10 cm3 are said to be concordant. It is a good idea to tick these in the table. The mean titer is the average of the concordant titers. This works out to be 9.70 cm3. The rough titer is never used to work out the average titer. Now that we have worked out the mean titer, we no longer need a table of results. I've just included here the information required for the next part of the calculation. It is a good idea to draw a diagram showing the quantities and locations of the different reagents. This is sometimes referred to as a storyboard. It helps to visualize the location of each substance throughout the analysis. Hydrochloric acid is delivered to the conical flask from a burette. We are given the concentration of hydrochloric acid in the question, 0.102 mole per decimeter cubed. The volume of HCl is the average titer, 9.70 centimeters cubed. The amount of HCl in moles is given by concentration multiplied by volume. We must be consistent with units. Convert the volume of HCl from centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed by dividing by 1000. I have shown this using times cent to the minus 3. The amount of HCl that reacted with the MHCO3 solution is equal to 9.894 times cent to the minus 4 moles. I have not rounded this result because we will use it in future calculations. Here's the next part of the question. Calculate the amount in moles of MHCO3 in 250 centimeters cubed of the solution. Then, calculate the experimental value for the MR of MHCO3. Give your answer to the appropriate number of significant figures. We can see from the balanced equation that this is a one-to-one -one reaction. One mole of HCl reacts with one mole of MHCO3. At the point of neutralization, the amount of MHCO3 in the conical flask is equal to the amount of HCl delivered from the burette. The amount of MHCO3 in the conical flask is also equal to 9.894 times 10 to the minus 4 moles. 25.0 cm3 of MHCO3 was used in each titration. The original solution of MHCO3 was 250 cm3 probably made up in a volumetric flask. Multiply the amount of MHCO3 in the conical flask by 10 to work out the amount of MHCO3 in the volumetric flask. This works out to be 9.894 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. The molar mass of the carbonate can be calculated using mass divided by amount in moles. I used lowercase g to represent mass in this equation as a reminder that mass must be expressed in grams. Divide by 1000 to convert from milligrams to grams. The molar mass of the carbonate works out to be 148 grams per mole. The data in the question is given to three significant figures, so this final answer should also be three significant figures. Here's the final part of the question that we'll look at in this video. The students identified use of the burette as the largest source of uncertainty in the experiments. Using the same apparatus, suggest how the procedure could be improved to reduce the percentage uncertainty in using the burette. Justify your suggested improvements. 
When asked about percentage uncertainty in exam questions, always try to relate your answer to the mathematical expression shown here. The apparatus must be the same, so the uncertainty of the measurements will not change. The measurement must change. Think, would a larger or smaller Burette measurement reduce the percentage uncertainty? You can choose either of these options to address the question. Decrease the concentration of HCl or increase the mass of MHCO3. Both of these changes would lead to a larger titer and reduce the percentage uncertainty of the Burette reading. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video useful. Post in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions. Take care and good luck with your studies.